Okay, so uh, I'm not going to be in this video, at least my VTube avatar won't be, because well, I'll, I'll explain. This was kind of an impromptu recording. Um, I didn't really plan it, but uh, this is kind of me from the future, because I, might, I figured like, uh, I watched the Sam Mac and then started kind of doing an impromptu recording, so uh, I just want to play this to catch you guys up. And yeah, this is also uh, my new microphone, so you can tell me what you think. And um, yeah, uh, I know later in the video it gets a bit quieter, but it's only for that first uh, episode. Uh, later episodes of this will be more like this, I think. So yeah, uh, I upped the game. Anyway, here is this uh, Mac, this uh, Honkai Star Rail. Just to catch you up. I've already seen this one, but yeah. It's a very neat sound hack. Everyone's like, oh shit. She's just playing a violin. Invisible violin. It kind of reminds me of a uh, chin. League of Legends. I like Kafka. <laughs> Seems I came at a bad time. No, no. I think you couldn't have timed it better. Honkai Starville. Okay, so that's uh, the first bit. And uh, yeah, I will see you uh, when the actual original recording starts. So you won't, uh, yeah, it'll just be a cut to that. So uh, I will see you then, I guess, actually more like part two of the series. So uh, yeah, here is the first recording. Okay, so I don't have my avatar here. Um, I'm just testing the new mic and also trying out this game, Honkai Star Vale, uh, because I did a little, I watched the first cutscene. Uh, basically there was just robots attacking the spaceship and then we, uh, I did a tutorial and killed some of them, two of them. And uh, that's about. That basically catches you up to everything. Uh, this person's <laughs> name is Kafka as well, is another thing. And, uh. Yeah. Seems interesting so far. Um, I'm just recording this quickly because I apparently need to complete, like, this mission to collect, um,. Some items with code that I have, and yeah, I'm not sure if I'll be uploading this, but I want to get the code, and so I figure I might as well record this early part. Um, what is this? Arthur's portal, Port portrait. Yeah, just adjust, adjusting my mic there. Okay. So I can see uh, how good this records as well. It should be good. There's a controller here. What happens if we go to this? Who's this? Herta? Yeah. <laughs> she looks so young. She was already famous in the last Amber era, no? She has to be at least a hundred years old. She's a member of the Genius Society, and an emanator of the Noose the Erudition. She could probably age backwards if she wanted. <laughs> yeah, I seem to recall that over half of the Genius Society's 80-odd members had a normal death. Wasn't there someone who lived for a dozen days or so? What was their name? Oh. <laughs> That's pretty normal. Aren't the immortal bosses in games always waiting for the protagonist to come kill them? 
Immortality is not always a good thing. Are we breaking the fourth wall here? <laughs> oh, what an alliance joke. The alliance? What? Well, I think the, the robots in this game are like called the Legion or something. Also, I see this shiny thing here. I'm gonna interact with that. Oh, okay. What is this? Investigate. Papers in math lie scattered on the table. The author seems to have, to have left in a hurry. You don't need sep any separate space. To I forget. I don't know what that said. Anyway, uh, let's go through this door. Wait, is there anything? Before I go, is there anything? Oh, there is. This is the space out of there which you took to arrive at the space station. It's a lot as for how you use the enchantment of Spirit Whisper on the elevator. Security staff, there's no need to go over that right now. Well, all right then. <laughs> uh. When did the Antimatter Legion become so weak? I could only attract this much. Did you really want the entire Legion to come here? Burning Legion. This lot won't be able to slow down the Astral Express crew. Relax. A Doomsday Beast is also here. A Doomsday Beast? What? Character. Okay. Interesting eyes. What? Did these just pop up? What did that door close? Yeah. I know this person. She's the Lord of Silence. Poka Kakamond. Okay. See? Her face is all blank. She had destroyed all of her own portraits and sculptures in the entire universe. Uh. I'm not interested. Hurry up with our real business. Well, I want to explore the lore. This is Xander. Xander One Kuwabara. The first genius in history. What? There was a first genius in history? Okay. The one who supposedly created news? Yeah, that's him. If the legends are true, then he was a man who created an Eon. Well, they better be false. I don't want to be a Xandar hunter. A Xandar hunter? Okay. Who's this guy? Who's this old guy with a white beard? No idea. A oh, society member? Who's this? Uh, no idea. This person also looks pretty cool. <laughs> hey, Silverwolf, look. It's Screwlem, your good old opponent. That looks like that robot from Star Wars. What's his name? It's not R2-D2, but like, he's often with R2-D2. Huh? I told you already? I didn't know it was him. Oh, that battle was how Alio got his eyes on you. Imagine someone actually able to crack Skrulem's code. First Skrulem, then Herta. But there's probably no one else in the universe who offended two genii in such quick succession. It must be destiny. Genii. Interesting. Ugh. Seems like I'm the real destiny slave here. Man, they are just throwing out these terms that you do not understand. Okay. Oh, hello. The enemy is now within the character's attack range. Attack selected. Enemy to trigger combat. And then they start that breathing it. sensation, remember it. I like this character, kinda. Yeah. 
All characters possess a powerful ultimate, which can be used when their energy is full. Fight enemies to regenerate energy. Okay. Good times never last. Use ultimate to attack all enemies. Time to say bye. Boom. Interesting. Okay. <sighs> Cleaning up other people's mess isn't in my job description. You know, Kafka? <sighs> yeah, yeah. Where did you send it, Silverwolf? Some random coordinates. Mm, not important. You care about where that Void Ranger ended up? It's got like... When I was uh, setting up this game, I, well, I, was on a, I was on the uh, website for this game. And she kept like blowing her bubble gum and making sounds every while, every now and then. I was like, where the heck is that sound coming from? Because I had the tab open, but it was, I was looking at other tabs. I was just like, what? Of course not. I'm just amazed at this fancy technique of yours, as usual. <sighs> just a little trick of tampering with the data of reality. I wouldn't call it fancy. What were you looking at so intently just now? Let me see. Herta's Toys. A catalog featuring the space station's collection of rare items. They've got a lot of interesting gadgets. Like what? There's this gun. It can rate any creature within its crosshair as a score from 0 to 100. Uh, doesn't sound very interesting. Aren't you curious about how much you would score? I kind of want to know mine. Fine. I guess we can swing by and play with it if it's not too far. What's our destination? Is there not a ship like under attack right now or something? Go down the corridor behind the door on the left. There's a room where some kind of rare item is stored. Oh, so that's where the Stellaron is. That's where we can find out where the Stellaron is. The Stellaron. Silver Wolf is joined. I said that with like a TH, Silver Wolf. Uh, Silver Wolf has joined the team temporarily. Switch to your team. Hmm. Silver Wolf onto the field. Okay. <laughs> Where's my mouse cursor? Hello? Do I just need to roll? Uh, hello? Oh. You want me to press two, I see. Okay. Emblem of the space station. Oh. Herta! Have you ever met her? I'm curious about the tastes of someone who used their own name for a space station. Never seen the real one. Saw plenty of her portraits, though. Oh, what a pity. Oh. Readable items. You may find lots of readable items on your journey. Do spend some time reading them both of people's lives in the lore in different worlds. Collected readable readables can be quickly accessed via the bookshelf function and phone menu. Okay. Emergency evacuation flash onto the display and the front half house receptionist. Okay. Space station introductory guard. Okay. So, wants us to go here. Objects. Okay, 
before things to destroy. There's still more to do. Part of space station here, you can savor the bounty of the ocean of knowledge. Please also be aware of the risk of drowning. Well, this hint is useless. Who knows what's in the brains of those following the erudition? Exploring the world and defeating your enemies. Okay. I think that is everything. The central area of the space station okay, is up go ahead. This way now. There will be lots of Legion Void Rangers there. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay, just check it. That breathing sensation. Remember it. Characters and enemies act in sequence from top to the bottom of the action model. Ultimates are not affected by the action order and be used at any time. Relax. Oh. Is that like a bonus? You are full of energy. Activate your ultimate. After an ultimate becomes available, it can be used immediately. This combat needs optimizing. Hmm. At this speed, too slow. Oh, That's neat. Tutorials. View all unlocked tutorials. Okay. There's more things to smash here, isn't there? Yeah. Okay. So many smash points. Okay, I just need to look at them. Oh! Okay. Uh. Hold it. Someone or something is up ahead. Sounds like Lucio or Sona? Someone doing music? No, oh, I thought this dude was like dancing for a sec. When it zoomed in and he was like moving around, but now. Looks like we're the ones getting ambushed. But they're the ones getting besieged. Sona. <laughs> Turn down the music. Oh. Music did turn down there. Okay. Yep. Skill points. It's a combat resource shared by the whole team. Switch to skill. S consume skill points to use skills. I see. You took the bait just like that. All skill points have been used. Skills cannot be used when there is insufficient skill points. Use basic attack to recover team skill points. Enemies. 
Kill them all. Go for it. Time to say bye. Boom. Feels like overkill. Not a single soul here. Impressive evacuation work. Did Herda organize it herself? According to the access history, she hasn't logged in here for over six months. The evacuation was directed by the acting lead researcher, a girl named Asta. It doesn't ring a bell. Oh, right. Elio said we wouldn't run into Herta. It seems she really isn't here. Where's the Stellaron? Elio's script doesn't include any info about the location of the Stellaron, which means in the future he foresees... We would find the Stellaron in a non-physical way. This space station is packed with extraordinary objects. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one that can make it happen. Well, hiding something extraordinary with something extraordinary. This is pretty Herta. I assume you know what to do. I mean, you've read the catalog for quite a while. I've got all the clues we need. The only piece missing is a simple trick. Help me investigate the terminal in this room. Our item might be inside. Okay, the stage is yours. Okay. I can see the whole space station on the surveillance screen, but not the Stellaron. Even if you could, it'd be a trap. Herta doesn't display her collections. Okay. see the memory storage for this terminal. This is the monitoring room. They must have deleted the records and made a run for it. Classic. <sighs> Make your way over here then. There's no point in trying to search like this. I can't destroy the screens. <gasps> okay, what you gotta say? So, got a master plan? I'm all ears. It's a matter of hacking the surveillance system directly. Ah. Ah, I see. Herta's collections aren't in the system, so anything unaffected should be our target. You know why she has all these, like, band-aids on her? It's because she hurt her... She hurt her herself. <laughs> Simple, crude, but effective. Look, found it. Right. Now this computer does something. Hmm. Huh. What's this? Item number 211. Line spot. A simple light deflecting field. It allows an object in its field to pass unnoticed, but if a different item ceases to be obvious, the object gets revealed. So, Herta hides her collection with something as simple as this? The simplest method is the hardest to spot. Isn't that our motto? That's a... trippy. Oh man, it's all low resolution in there. Strange thing number two. There's like 40, 480 pixels in there. The data suggests it's just an ordinary hologram, but it has an added layer. Let's take a look. Don't worry, this place won't be our grave. 480 pixels. Interesting. 
She's a member of the Genius Society, all right. The Stellaron is up ahead. Let's hurry. Is this the Stellaron? This is the Stellaron, yeah. Spread throughout the galaxy by wandering Aeon, sowing chaos and disaster. Uh, why are we looking for this thing? Also, are we the good guys? Huh. It has its own security system. I guess even for Herda, Stellaron is no ordinary rarity. Can you get it? Of course. Even the genius Herda can't compete with me when it comes to hacking. Good. Then I'll also count on you with the preparation of the receptacle. Hack the planet. The receptacle's ready. Your decision. <laughs> Elio yep. said this decision will bring about lots of changes. He also said Is it must be you who makes it. Guess? Receptacle cannot be changed after verification. Okay, switch to receptacle, Caleb. Okay. okay. Want to give her a new name? <laughs> well, rabbit. All right. There we go. How much does she remember? Hm, I'll remember you. Time to get up. Okay. Oh. <laughs> um. Where am I? Who are you, or Kafka? And it. Do we want to pretend we don't remember? Who are you? I thought you'd remember me. Maybe you're not as important as you think. <laughs> Listen, you are in a daze right now. You don't know who you are, why you're here, or what you're going to do next. You think I look familiar, but you're not sure if you should trust me. None of that matters. All you need to know is that I'm leaving. And you will be left all alone on this space station. From now on, you needn't think about your past or doubt yourself. Listen, in the near future, you will encounter all kinds of perils and hardships, but you will also have many wonderful experiences. You'll meet companions who will treat you like family and embark on surreal adventures with them. At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will this resolve. Sunglasses? This is your future that Elio has foreseen. Do you like it? Uh, does it sound that great? Uh, no. This is also a lovely answer. So, Elio can foresee the future, but he can't make decisions for you. Use that will of yours to reach the end of your story. That's the you I like. How long do you think you need? According to the script, the Astral Express crew is arriving soon. We should avoid being seen by them. I know, Silver Wolf. Just give me another minute. I must leave now. Don't worry, someone will come and find you very soon. Just go with them. You won't remember a thing except me. Uh... You know what, let's... This seems funny, let's just say our name now. When you have a chance to make a choice, make one that you know you won't regret. Uh, I thought you were gonna be like, wait, so you do remember me? Okay. <laughs> Weren't there coordinates sent out from the space station? Who cares? They're here and alive! Do they look like a mannequin to you? <sighs> Weak heartbeat and pulse. March, you better do CPR. Huh? Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I've never done it before. 
Don Hung, you do it. <sighs> Wait, stop uh, it. They're awake. <sighs> okay. Are you all right? Can you hear me? Do you remember your name? Uh, no. I guess. Aw, this isn't good. Can you try harder? I'm sure you can at least remember your name. Well, well then. Nice to meet you. My name's Don Hung. And this is March 7th. M March 7th? What? Like, the date? This space station was just attacked by the Antimatter Legion. We came to help with the rescue at the request of lead researcher Asta. Uh, Antimatter Legion. Goons owned by the destruction. You're lucky the most dangerous Lord Ravager among them isn't around. Just some nasty minions. Instead of goons owned, I thought she said goons owned. Like the goon sound. Uh, we'll take those invaders out soon. Don't worry. Why is her name much seven? It's a good name, but that one especially so. Uh huh. A petite cutie with pink hair? Madame Herda appointed her to be the acting lead researcher. That girl really needs to step up. I can't believe her own employee doesn't even know her name. Okay, so we're with Herda, I guess. Back to the master control zone. Asta and the other researchers have gathered there. Plus, that's where we parked the Astral Express. Don't you worry. We'll protect you from the monsters and clear up this mess. Who are you? Don Hung and I are members of the Astral Express crew. Well, the Express has some dealings with Madame Herta. So we come to visit the space station from time to time. We just so happen to arrive during this invasion. Of course, as a <coughs> crew of heroes, we're happy to lend a hand. Uh, the Astral Express? Yeah. You've never seen it? The Express comes here every once in a while. It's a unique train that can travel between the stars with the power of the Trailblaze Eon. I think I saw it in the, uh, the loading screen, kind of, to the game. I'll show you once we're back to the Master Control Zone. You and March go back together. Arlan from the security department lost contact in the vicinity. I need to find him first. So her first name, I guess, is March, and is her last name Seventh? That's... What, was her parent Seventh, or Sixth, or Eighth? I don't know. Oh, alright. You stay safe. should bring this. The Legion are rampaging through the space station like a pack of wolves. This trip won't be a walk in the park. It's better if you have something to protect yourself. Is that a baseball bat? Just a suggestion, though. You're safe as long as you stick with me. Characters. View details of all unlocked characters. Press and hold alt to show your cursor. Oh. Open the camera menu. Detailed information for characters can be viewed in the character screen. Each character has their own type. Realm Rabbit is a physical type character. Each character has their own path. Realm Rabbit is a pack character path that follows the path of destruction. Okay, I mean... That seems, uh, mm. accurate. It's like March 7th. Character comes in different types. Different paths. Learn about each character in the detailed screen. Okay. Preservation. Physical, and the other one is ice, I guess. Interesting. 
Yeah. Preservation possess powerful defensive abilities to protect allies in various ways. <laughs> Cheese! And she's taking herself <laughs> Okay. Uh, I would like to level up. I guess. I guess I can. Okay. What? This currency used by International Peace Corporation to settle accounts with its customers is now widely accepted as a hard currency for space travel. Okay. Good to know. Information. Voice. Oh, you can change your voice, I guess? This is our chance. Stay alert. Let's go. Let's make it quick. Who's next? Batter up! Take this! Just a scratch. It'll take more than that. Rules are made to be broken. You're out! You've outstayed your welcome! Decisive strike! So this is... defeat. Decisive strike! Decisive strike! Decisive strike! Decisive strike! One more at bat. Much better. Okay, so I assume that weapon is a baseball bat just because of all the bat references. Keep at it. The bat puns. Noise. Noise. Uh, space paper. Alright. So this is a healing area. I think by now I can probably redeem my thing, so I might end the... Okay, never mind. I need to complete a moment at peace. Peace. And I'll be able to unlock my thing. And that's where I will end the recording. Hopefully this place is too. full of fancy little gadgets. Herda's collection. I really don't get why she'd go out of her way to collect them and then leave them here to gather dust. Need to character designs. Oh wait. Helio management log. Enough dilly dallying. We gotta go. Yep. Okay, I'm going. I see something surprising. Ha. Uh, it's the antimatter legion. So these crazy jerks made it all the way here. Watch this. Okay. The type icon indicates the enemy's weakness type. Uh, so we got these symbols buffered too. I see. The white bar below the weakness that indicates the enemy's toughness. Using the attacks of the same type as the weakness, we deplete the enemy's toughness. Okay, so why use the ice goal on this thing? What's wrong? Afraid of what things. I might do. Okay. Use ice attacks to inflict weakness, right? causing enemies to freeze. Let's make it quick. Alright. To me. <laughs> Didn't do much damage. Batter up. Not me. Okay. You're stronger than you look. Seem to be quite the fighter. Use attacks of the same type as the enemy's weakness to deplete the enemy's toughness. 
When the enemy toughness reaches zero, weakness break will be triggered, causing the enemy to take more damage, delaying their action. You will encounter all kinds of enemies during your adventure. Each of them has a weakness that can be exploited by using attacks of the same type. Just tutorials. Oh, I see. Yeah. Whole bunch of stuff. Trail blaze up profile. Oh, redemption code. Okay. I guess that's what I need. Uh, I can set my birthday. Uh, support kit. support, I guess. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna end the episode here, because now I can do what I wanted to, and then I can uh, continue with my VTube avatar once I am uh, ready. So yeah, this is the uh, new mic. Um, yeah. I don't have all the uh, things set up properly, so it might sound better in the uh, next next time I use this mic and video, which will probably be, I guess, the Thursday after this. Um, so yeah, hopefully it sounds good. Hopefully there isn't as much sibilance as the uh, other mic had. This is kind of a mic check for me, but you know, I think it should be should be pretty good overall. Uh, if you're wondering, yeah, this is the Troa MV7 mic. So, pretty good mic. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I guess I will see you probably in the next Thursday video with my VTube avatar probably on that time. But yeah, I wasn't sure, like, I, I didn't get the whole VTube avatar set up because I wasn't sure if I was gonna. Yeah. But anyway, um, till next time, goodbye.